What if the financial system we rely on was fundamentally broken? In 2008, a mysterious solution emerged. What is Bitcoin really? To understand it, you have to know where it came from. It didn't come out of nowhere. Bitcoin was born after decades of failed experiments, advances in cryptography, and the growing distrust in centralized systems. In the 90s, a group of cryptographers and hackers known as the cypherpunks started working on tools to free people from surveillance and censorship. They believed in using code as a shield against centralized power. 2008 came and the global financial system collapses. Banks are bailed out, people are losing trust in the institutions. And then an anonymous figure named Satoshi Nakamoto publishes a white paper, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. The Bitcoin white paper published in October 2008 proposed a purely peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash, no intermediaries, digital scarcity via cap supply, and a trustless consensus through proof of work. On January 3rd of 2009, Bitcoin goes live. Satoshi mined the first block, the Genesis block. Early adopters included cryptographers, libertarians, coders, digital misfits. One early transaction was two pizzas for 10,000 bitcoins. Bitcoin slowly gained traction. In 2010, opened the first real exchange. In 2011 and 2013, Wikileaks and Silk Road boost the usage. But what makes Bitcoin so revolutionary? Well, it's decentralized, censorship resistant, has digital scarcity, runs on open source code, and the best part of all, you don't need permission to use it. Bitcoin is more than price action, it's a monetary protocol, it's a protest against centralized control, it's a tool for self-sovereignty. Do you still think it's just internet money?